It's got fiber inside and a nice little Minisforum logo in there. Now, let's take a look at the ports of both of these devices. On ProArt, we have a USB Type-C and that's USB 4. And then when I'm opening this little cover there, which makes it water resistant, it's got an SD card slot and another USB Type-C. So it's quite simple. There's two USB type C's, both of them USB 4, and then one SD card slot. On the Minis Forum, it's got a little bit more going on. So you've got a V-Link. So basically, this is a USB-C video input. So if you've got a Nintendo Switch, for example, and you want to put the video into there and then actually play some games or show something on here, this you can actually input video, which is a very great idea for a tablet. If you just want to use it as a screen, a secondary screen or something like that, you can do that with Minis Forum. I'm not sure if this is possible with the Pro app. Then underneath this rubber cover, we've got an SD card slot and then volume up and down buttons. Lastly, there is a headphone jack that we don't have on the Pro Art. On the right side, we've got volume rockers on the Pro Art, and then on the V3 Minis Forum, we've got a power and fingerprint sensor there, plus two USB Type C's, which are USB 4 and 40 gigabits per second. So for the ports, I've got to give it to the Minis Forum.